Okay, at iLab Online we get a lot of questions concerning uh, no line bifocals or progressive lenses as far as uh, what they are, uh, which one should be chosen, if it's going to work for a person. Uh, we do know that a lot of people uh, have done some research online and uh, will come across uh, some information on a website and they're very interested in getting the lens but they want to get a little more information about it. And some people already know exactly what design they want because they've worn it before. For example, uh, usually a lot of Verilux wears, uh, they're very happy with the product, so they want to continue wearing that Verilux design. So anyway, what is a progressive lens? A progressive is technically, and I'm going to hold up a Verilux Comfort lens blank here, uh, a progressive is a no-line bifocal. And I know there's a little bit of confusion uh, with a lot of people because uh, they consider it a trifocal. And technically it is because as we're going from distance to the reading area, you get that intermediate zone as it's transferring from the distance into the reading. So you, you, it's almost the intermediate area it is almost a byproduct. So it's not uh, technically when they were first came out on the market, they weren't really uh, marketed as a trifocal. It was a no line bifocal. But again, you do get that intermediate as it's progressing down into the ad um, as an intermediate zone, that, that arm's length or computer uh, length area. Okay, so what else are they known as? Uh, they're uh, in the lab industry, they're called PALs or progressive adaptive lenses. Progressives, no line bifocals, again, some people consider them no line trifocals, uh, but again, it's all describing the same type of. Uh, lens versus you know an actual lined bifocal. So here you can actually see on standards and the uh, advanced designs where the design itself it's a little bit easier instead of picking up that comfort I'm going to grab this Genesis it's a little bit of a, a higher add on there so you can actually see as I go across that lens you can see the actual add of the bifocal existing in the blank. So that's what we're starting out with. So what is the best progressive lens on the market? And that is probably one of the most difficult questions to answer and one of the easiest at the same time. Uh, it's difficult to answer because everyone's need is a little bit different. Uh, even the same person, uh, that if they get a clear pair of everyday glasses and they get a pair of sunglasses, might require two different progressive types. Uh, one that is going to uh, give them the best reading zones possible, an intermediate zone and distance zone for their everyday pair of glasses versus say a pair of sunglasses like I've got here. And these are actually um, my own personal uh, Revos. I've had the frame for about 10 years and it's still holding really, really well. Uh, but you can see there's a pretty big difference where it's got a lot of curve to the front wrapping around the face versus here I've got a Tom Ford here and which has a lot less curvature to it. Uh, this one you can see it's a little bit more flat across the front. So that might really call for two different types of progressive lenses. So it's a very difficult question to answer as far as you know is there one progressive lens on the market uh, that's going to take care of everyone and the answer technically is no. So, what is the best? Kind of depends on each person's uh, situation. Uh, we go from standard all the way up to freeform. Uh, freeform, it's a little more expensive, but hands down, uh, freeform designs are going to always be um, a better pick for uh, the design for someone's pair of glasses than, say, a standard or even an advanced. Uh, okay, standard progressives. Let's go over what they are. Uh, a lot of these were, when, they, when these progressives came out on the market, and uh, I think Verilux Comfort was kind of like the pioneer uh, as far as designs. And here I've got the, the Verilux Comfort blank. Uh, this is a phenomenal lens. It's, it, it still stands hold to be you know, a, an outstanding lens design. And a lot of people that wear a Comfort uh, probably will attest to that 
that they're very happy with them. Uh, but once the progressive lenses came out in the market, pretty much every lens manufacturer released, you know, their own versions. And uh, I think there's there has to be probably close to a hundred different designs. Um, I know some of them have been discontinued recently, uh, but there's uh, there's quite a few. But again, with your standard progressive design, um, everything is designed and uh, molded into the front. And again, you can see that as I kind of pull it up and down across the lens there. Now the ink markings that are on here right now are there for the lab's reference because we need to be able to actually lay them out properly. So we need those uh, ink markings on there so that we can lay them out, block them, surface them, and then you know edge them into the frame. Once that's done, they're actually clean, cleaned off and you know when you get them, uh, it's completely uh, invisible lines on the lens. Uh, the advanced designs, uh, some of the advanced designs, which again, same thing as your, your standard designs, uh, except we have uh, a little more of an updated uh, designing process is for the manufacturers. Some examples of that would be uh, GT2, uh, Shamir Creation, your uh, Verilux Physio, which is a widely popular lens nowadays, um, and a couple of others. Uh, there's, there's quite a few. Uh, and we are going to be adding a few of those onto, onto the website. Uh, we did a couple of them. Sometimes we just add it in upon a person's request if they're looking for a certain material. You know, we'll put that in there so they can actually make the purchase. Uh, but we are going to make it a little more uh, complete uh, because we do want to make sure that everyone is getting the maximum amount of options as possible. All right, so again, that's your advanced designs. Um, you know, the Comfort, which has been around for quite some time, uh, and they have updated this. I'm not sure how much of a change that they made. Uh, I don't think they needed to make too much, but now they call it the new Comfort. Um, you know, and here's a, a Shamir Genesis. I should have brought a Creation, but it would basically look the same. And all they're trying to do is just kind of like using some digital technology, uh, try and actually kind of expand that corridor so that you've got a little bit of a wider intermediate and wider reading. But again, it's a fixed design. It can't actually be changed. Um, uh, same thing with the Physio, which they use uh, what they call the Wavefront technology. Uh, it's just like the Comfort. It is uh, preformed or pre-molded, uh, so it's going to be the same for uh, every person uh, where we use that lens for. All right, so what is freeform or digital lenses? Now this is um, relatively newer. I'm not going to say it's new because it actually has been around for a while. Um, I think they've been doing um, digital freeform probably in Europe for uh, years and uh, for whatever reason here in the United States we always seem to be quite a few years behind before things kind of catch on here um, so I would say that a lot of things uh, when they're cutting-edge technology they end up coming out it seems like they're in Europe before uh, reaching stateside so a freeform progressive or a digital progressive they start out from an absolute no design. This is what they call a single vision freeform puck. So there is absolutely nothing in there. So what is done is once all of the uh, prescription and frame dimension information, and when I say frame dimension, um, it takes everything into account from a uh, lens width to height, the actual shape, the vertex distance, how far away, uh, the back of the lens is calculated to be from the front of the eye to the actual panoscopic tilt. And the panoscopic tilt is how, how tilted or from a side view angle that frame is. If anybody's familiar with uh, like the Ray-Ban Wayfair, uh, that particular frame has a massive amount of um, tilt to it and normally. Uh, frame tilt is about 15 degrees. So if you've got a frame front that is really swept in, where the bottom of the frame is very, very close to the cheek, uh, you know, that can actually have an effect on uh, the bifocal portion. So if you're putting all of those pieces of information into the software, the software can then design the lens uh, to really maximize 
or your viewing areas uh, in the completed pair of glasses. So that's the huge advantage of a freeform. Uh, the other thing is you're not really limited to um, the types of lenses that can be used. For example, um, the Verilux Comfort. Uh, maybe it wasn't available. Somebody wanted, say, a driveware, which is actually made by Younger. And uh, the, the manufacturers uh, don't make a Verilux Physio or Verilux Comfort in a driveware because driveware was made by Younger, completely different company. However, if you wanted an Autograph 2 or one of our HD designs, we can actually make your uh, progressive lens in the driveware. So there's, you know, when you can start out with a semi finished single vision blank or a freeform puck, uh, you know, the sky is the limit as far as lens availability. So if there's a company that actually makes a blank, as long as it's not glass at this point, you know, we can get that, um, we can get your no-line bifocal in it. Okay, so a hybrid design. Uh, now this, I definitely wanted to bring up because there's a lot of questions as far as uh, like the Physio Enhanced or a Physio 360, um, and there are a couple of others out on the market that we don't uh, we don't really work with. But now the, I you have to forgive me because this is a comfort design, and uh, but the Physio basically is the same thing as what I'm holding in my hand. It's a preformed uh, lens with the bifocal in it. So the Enhance is kind of like a hybrid, whereas you already have your bifocal design already molded into the front. And what they do is the distance portion is digitally surfaced and there might be some compensation for the distance area. So that's going to definitely uh, give you a lot of clarity peripherally uh, on the lens. But again, you can't really manipulate the width of the, the actual bifocal uh, or the corridor, which is that intermediate portion. And that's the advantage of a, a free form like an autograph two and three the HD, uh, the Seiko surmount, um, because you can actually manipulate the design uh, to meet the need of your customer. For example, if the customer uh, lets us know that they want um, a lot of that intermediate, that middle range to be very, very wide, to do a lot of work on a computer, then we can actually uh, modify or manipulate that design to give them more of that intermediate area. Same thing with the reading, if they do a lot of reading, not as much computer work, uh, then you can reverse that and you can actually modify their reading zone to be as wide as possible. And not just as far as the height, but actually trying to get that reading completely across the bottom of the lens. All right, so that's the advantage of your freeform design, uh, completely customizable, and uh, just, just absolutely, probably, it really is the best technology that's out on the market today. So, okay, my next question I've got written down is, that I've been asked is, what is the best design for a myopic prescription? And uh, I would have to say that right off the top of my head, uh, as far as uh, high minus or myopic prescriptions, if you're looking for a really good design, uh, the Physio, the Physio, any of the Physio line of lenses, the Enhanced, the DRX, uh, the, I think they have a Fit. I'm not sure if we have that yet, but we, we might be adding that in there. So any of the Physio lenses, even the Comfort is a great design for uh, a minus lens. Uh, but if you're going for the best, then you're going to be looking for any type of a freeform product uh, that's going to give you as much clarity across the uh, top of the, the distance area from side to side of the lens. And I'm going to go into more detail specifically on uh, a lot of the designs individually. So I'm going to do a video on the Autograph 2 and 3, for example, the, the HD line that we have, um, and the, the Ver different Verilux Physio and Verilux products, uh, and the Seiko Surmount. So I'm going to do those individually. Um, so look for those videos. This is just I'm trying to do something that kind of encompasses everything as far as people's questions. Um, the, the other question that I get is, you know, I have a very high plus prescription. What would you recommend? You know, and, and that's where the Seiko surmount it, it really comes into play. 
That's why I only had added the surmount design into the website because um, it really is, and just um, even verifying this with a, a lot of other labs and people that work in the lab, that Seiko surmount does a phenomenal job for those high plus prescriptions. So if, if your distance prescription is plus four, plus five, or you know more higher, uh, the surmount for whatever reason definitely seems to have an edge uh, for giving people a, a much more clarity in their distance prescription uh, than even say the autograph two. And not to take away from the autograph two because it, it really is a good lens, uh, but the surmount for whatever reason seems to really um, give people with high plus prescriptions a lot more clarity uh, because with freeform designs uh, it's the myopic or, or the minus prescriptions that uh, really uh, they get more of the benefit uh, than the plus prescription wears so you know if you're even if you've been wearing a, a standard progressive lens and then you try you know any of these freeform designs uh, it's it's a very very obvious difference you put them on in there you know, a lot of people say like, wow, I, I didn't think that I could get this this type of clarity, you know, in the lens and the areas are, are phenomenal. So they're very happy with it. Uh, but it's the plus people, you know, they'll they'll get an autograph too and they'll put them on and they go, eh, you know, yeah, it's better. But again, it's, it's not what they thought it was going to be after seeing a lot of information that they've read on the internet or hearing what other people's experiences have been. So anyway, hopefully this, um, this little video kind of helps you understand a little bit what progressive lenses are. If you have any other questions, you know, definitely write us, let us know. Uh, but again, we're, we're trying to do the videos. That way it kind of cuts down on the phone calls because it's very difficult to kind of consult with people on the phone and try and get the work done at the same time. So that's the point of the videos is trying to uh, help answer people's questions before they even need to, to call up and ask us.